Welcome everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and we will be playing Wasteland 2. Completely blind, this has been released just yesterday. I have not touched the early access, I have not touched the game at all. Well, actually, that's a lie, I have. As you can see, there's a continue because I only tried to see uh, if it's going to work, if it's going to record. Okay, I set up all the options. And uh, yes, this game was uh, very kindly gifted to me by Minimister. Thank you very much. I think I'm going to enjoy this a lot, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it a lot. Well, guys and gals, of course. Now, the first thing, um, <clears throat> unfortunately, it's not here anymore. But when I ran this the first time, there was actually a funny little thing over here. There was kind of like a stamp saying, New DLC, and it was named something, only $49.95. And I was like, what? Are they serious? Is, is this for real? And I clicked it just because I wanted to see if this is really a thing. And then a window popped up saying, you didn't really think we would have DLCs, right? Of course you didn't. And then it disappeared. <laughs> that was brilliant. So anyway, let's start a new game. Oh yeah. I want to pilot this thing. I'm just putting that forward. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, we have to create a team. All of the um, all of the characters we're going to create ourselves. You can already uh, you can also pick them from pre-made ones. And can I just say I'm already loving the atmosphere. The fact that you can create your own character like this and the music behind it's just Fallout 2 screams to me Fallout Fallout. Anyway, combat skills will increase your proficiency with different weapons. They affect stats like your chance to hit, critical Hit chance, reload cost, and jam rate. Ooh, jam rate as well. Allocate your available attribute points. <clears throat> so, let's see. Uh, we have four characters, well, four rangers. And I want to have, you know, different um, people because you can use them for various things. Well, obviously, because they're in a group. So I want to have one charismatic leader, maybe. Well, let's see, charisma is the combined force of a ranger's personality and desirability. People will react more favorably to a ranger with high charisma and might talk about things they would have otherwise kept to themselves. So I think I want someone who also increases XP rewards. I want someone with a very high charisma and also high intelligence, really. Uh, intelligence allows a ranger to learn the process information and process information efficiently, giving them early access to a wide variety of skills and ability to master them quickly. High level books, number of action points, skill points per level. Oh, doesn't really give you uh, hmm, interesting. What if I do this? <laughs> Poor intelligence. Um, speed, strength. Don't really need that much strength, I guess. Need more intelligence. Awareness, luck, coordination, number of action points, yeah. Well, this is gonna be the party face, I guess, with high charisma. I guess I'm gonna make her a woman, um, I don't know, just, you know, good looking, uh, intelligent, and uh, the party face. So anyway, we have all the action points, range hit bonus, oh that's nice. Everything is explained, that's nice. Chance to evade constitution. How much constitution or hit points you have? Ah, so constitution is actually equals to hit points here. Uh, you will go unconscious. An unconscious ranger will require a surgeon to bring them back to their feet. If your health deteriorates beyond unconsciousness, you are on your way to death. Oh, so you need a surgeon. Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. So not a field medic, but a surgeon actually. This skill allows you to fix the deep damage and bad breaks that the field medic isn't qualified to deal with. It'll be a lifesaver. It's used to revive downed party members both in and out of combat. Additionally, it can be used to remove any status effect game from injuries. And I assume that field medic actually yeah, restores hit points and removes effects by using consumable items. This is a bit yeah, because a surgeon would be able to do that as well, wouldn't they? So, oh well. Anyway, uh, let's see. Combat speed, the amount of distance you can cover per action point in combat. Skill levels per level, carry weights, constitution per level. Um, might do some other stuff as well. Speed movement per action point in combat. Yeah, she's got less combat initiative, but uh, also the same amount of... Hmm. I don't want to give her even less strength than she has. Maybe less luck, critical chance, chance to evade, chance to get additional constitution per level, chance for bonus action points. Well, how about she has more awareness there? Alright, anyway. 
Animal Whisperer. What you whisper is between you and your animal friend, but this skill will calm them and keep them from attacking you. They might even join you on your journey. Well, first of all, we really want leadership. A true leader is made, not born. With this skill, you will inspire others to trust and follow you. Use this power only for good. First, your companion NPCs will listen to your orders more often and go rogue less. Oh, they can go rogue? Second, your presence instills confidence in your team, increasing their chance to hit when they're near you. That's kind of nice. So I'm gonna put stuff into... Whoa! Okay, I thought that was only gonna take four skill points, but... Ah, see, this costs two, this costs four, and this costs... Sorry. Yeah, this costs two, and this costs four. Bloody hell, that's a lot. Reduces chance followers ignore orders in combat by 15%. They can ignore orders. But is that all? It just does that? Reduces chance they will ignore orders and increases their hit chances. Well, that's not that great. Then we have kiss ass, hard ass. <laughs> Let's see. Um, barter. Take this skill if you always want to get the long end of the stick. Barter reduces the cost of items purchased from vendors. Value of items being sold increased by 1%. And uh, yeah, that's not that much, actually. Brute force. This skill helps you use your strength to its greatest advantage. Perfect for knocking down walls and smashing stuff up. Used on objects in the world that can be bashed, broken, pushed, or unstuck. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> but of course she doesn't have the strength for that. Hard ass. This is the skill to take if you want to intimidate people into doing what you want. It's usable in conversations. Uh, we're gonna do kiss ass. It's usable. Uh, yeah. Sweet talk people. I mean... I don't know, I just assume that uh, this is dependent on charisma, I would say. Ooh, that's a lot of skill points it takes, jeez. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna take less of this. Outdoorsman, if you want to find water and live off the land in the wastes, this is a skill for you. The outdoorsman skill is primarily used to avoid random encounters while traveling on the world map. Eh, not that good. Take the skill to see things other mi others miss and spot ambushes before they spot you. The perception skill is used to highlight objects of interest in the wasteland, drawing your attention to hidden traps, alarms and other secrets. Hovering your cursor over an item will also trigger a check. Hmm, interesting. Smartass. This is a skill to take if you want to cleverly manipulate people into doing what you want. Interesting. Uh, weaponsmithing. If you want to salvage usable parts and modifications from weapons and attach them to other weapons, this is your skill. Then we've got lots of weapon skills. Bloody hell, look at all that. Brawling, energy weapons, handguns, heavy guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, submachine guns. Awesome. Knowledge skills. This is cool. Alarm. With this skill, you can breach security systems and get your team into restricted areas without waking up the guards. Computer science, demolitions, field med... Well, she could be a field me medic, actually. Oh, what? There we go. Field medic. Uh, lock picking, mechanical repair, safe cracking surgeon, toaster repair. Bloody hell, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, she's gonna be a field medic and a surgeon as well. There. <clears throat> and then we create her look. So we can randomize this. Or we can just make her ourselves. Ugh. That's... Hmm. Uh. Ugh. Ugh. Weird looking. What the hell kind of thing is that? Well, it's definitely the wastelands. Um, don't like that pack. It's pretty cool, actually. I think. Head. Oh, that's that changes like that. Okay. Torso. Oh, that changes the... Okay. That's alright. I guess she can wear something like this. I don't know. Uh, legs. Something maybe more comfortable. Oh, that looks kind of cool, actually. Size. Oh, that's just the size of uh, the actual character. Sky changes the sky. All right. So what do we? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, that doesn't look like it would be very uh, useful. That's kind of her, isn't it? Not really the. Uh... Well, that like also looks kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, this is pretty cool. They, they actually have, you know, salvaged stuff and they're wearing that. So let's just, uh, 
I'll just pick something. Her will do, I guess. Name. Oh dear. I have to put in a name. That's uh, that's not gonna work that well. Uh, what is it gonna be? Um, I'm horrible with these. Let me think. Hmm. Uh, Alina. I don't know. Age. Whatever. 28, let's say. Religion. Oh, that's cool. Sikh, Nun, Muslim, Mormon, Jewish, Indigenous, Hindu, Christian, Buddhist, Atheist. She's gonna be an atheist. She's gonna uh, smoke. She's gonna smoke. None. She's not gonna smoke. Ethnicity. Uh, African American, Arabic, Asian, European, Indian, Latino, Native American, Russian. She's gonna be a European, and we're gonna leave the biography alone. While character gender makes no difference to attributes or skills, some people in the wasteland react differently to men or women. Right, that's gonna be her. She's gonna be the party face. Then we need someone who can shoot stuff, let's say. <clears throat> So we're gonna give him, let's see, initiative in combat, just number of action points, bonus ranged hit chance. He'll need good coordination and good luck, I guess. Crit critical chance, chance to evade, chance to get additional, da -da -da. awareness, could be good as well, I guess. Uh, intelligent and charisma, I'm gonna leave these at average, I guess. So he's gonna be a sniper rifle. 45% base chance to hit, 12 base... Bloody hell, that's quite a lot, actually. Yeah, he's gonna have critical rifle... Um, critical rifles. He's gonna get sniper rifles. And maybe something else. Maybe barter? Uh, toaster repair. What the hell? A very specialized and un underappreciated skill in a world without toast, but sometimes surpri surprisingly useful. Use toaster repair on any broken toasters you come across in your travels. You never know what you might find inside. What? What the hell is this? Uh, safe cracking. Crack combination tumblers and disable advanced mechanical locks with this handy, if unethical, skill. It's used to open vaults and safes. These normally contain special goods and items locked away for safekeeping. Oh, because there's lockpicking as well. Hmm. Well, I guess he could have more of this. And then he can have lockpicking and safe cracking. Yeah, he'll be our uh, sniper slash thief, I guess. Oh, actually, hmm. Maybe weaponsmithing as well. Let's give him that as well. <clears throat> And that's gonna be a guy. Mm. Which one looks cool for a sniper? Ugh. Ugh. I think it's gonna be this guy. Yeah, maybe this guy. Okay. He's gonna be... Russian. Rus Russian uh, sniper. And I'm gonna give him a cliché... Uh, Dmitri. Cliché name. He's gonna be... 38. Religion... Uh, none. Smokes... Bones. <clears throat> Alright. Kinda looks like Russian. I don't know. Maybe not. Actually, he almost looks a bit Indian, doesn't he? Native Indian. Oh well. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, randomize this. Ugh. Uh oh What?! You can't wear that! What the hell? Let's just give him something cool. Probably should do it myself, really. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, give him a... Give him a hat like that. That's pretty cool, actually. There we go. Um, torso... Ugh. Something more appropriate, perhaps. Oh, uh, kind of like a poncho. No. Ugh. Ugh. Why do the guys have these options? Well, that looks pretty cool, I guess. And the legs are okay. Skin tone, size, sky. All right. So that's that. That's Dimitri. Then we need a techie guy. I assume intelligence will be uh, the determining skill there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, awareness. More awareness and more luck. There. 
Uh, so he's gonna be the techie guy. Computer science. Uh, take the skill if you want to know more than how to turn it off and turn it on again. Allows the user to interface, hack or repair computers and other similar equipment found in the wasteland. Can also be used to rewire robots and some synthetics to fight on your side. What? I'm definitely taking that. Demolitions. Allows the player to disarm a variety of different explosives. What about alarm? Yeah, let's do alarms. And also something else. Um, maybe mechanical repair. Yeah, let's do that. I I don't know. As I said, I've never played this, so you know this is uh, yeah. This will be completely uh, yeah, just like that. Anyway, so he's gonna be the techie guy. I think that guy would be this guy. Look at him. He's like ugh, ugh, ugh. cannot unsee that. Oh, that looks kind of cool, actually. Pretty, uh... Let's see the hair. Ugh. I have to say, that's really cool, though. Where's the suitable hair? Oh, there we go. There's the suitable hair. Yeah. Uh, but he also needs some... Uh, he also needs some kind of an armor where he can put his little, uh... Items... Various stuff in, I guess. There, that looks pretty cool, actually. Alright, that is good. He's gonna be... 46. Uh, he's gonna be... Um, he's gonna be an American. And he's gonna smoke Red Rooster. And... He's gonna have just no religion. Actually, atheist. There. Ha. And he's gonna be... Darren. Darren? What? Darren. There we go. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, so we've got a party face, we've got a sniper, we've got this guy, and then we could get a melee guy, maybe? Someone really strong? I guess? Maximum constitution per level, base melee damage, maximum carry weight, starting constitution, number of action points. Yeah, let's have some, someone very... Leadership increased... People react when blah. See, I don't understand this. Increase XP rewards. Does this mean for this guy or for the entire party? <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, he's gonna have low charisma, uh, lower intelligence, I guess. But he's gonna get a lot of no awareness, chance to evade. That he's gonna be speedy. Yeah, he's gonna be a brute. He's gonna have bladed weapons. <clears throat> Blunt weapons. Oh, look at this. Those skilled in the arts of bladed weapons know where to cut co uh, to cause the most damage. Take this training if you like your fighting up close and personal. Low non-critical damage, low armor penetration. Good against armored enemies. Oh, interesting. Blunt weapons do a lot of damage when they hit. I don't know if melee is very um, usable in the game, but then again... Oh, only 25% chance to hit? Oh, you have to increase it, okay. But, um... You know, considering there's three different things. Brawling, blunt weapons, and bladed weapons. I don't know, low damage gets get mistaken for a cage fighter. I'm just gonna have this stuff. Bladed weapons and blunt weapons. And he's also gonna have... Something else, like... Hard ass. Yeah, he's gonna be a hard ass. Alright. I might have created a completely crappy team, but we'll see. Okay, it's gonna be... This guy. Maybe? I don't know. This guy sort of looks like... Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna smash your head in. Yeah, but different. I don't want this. this. Where's... Something normal. Yeah, like that, I guess. Hair, well, he needs the mohawk, I guess. Where is it? Where is the mohawk? There it is. Alright, torso... That's exactly like that, actually, almost. So that looks pretty cool. Well, he can have a pack, I guess. I can... Yeah, with axes and stuff. Legs. 
that looks cool skin tone doesn't really matter i mean this guy is a bit pale i guess size he's gonna be pretty damn big all right what's his name gonna be he's gonna be 35 and he's gonna be i don't know really he's gonna be another european i guess and he smokes sticks his religion is well let's let's play with the religion as well i mean it might play some kind of a thing in there Although he's not going to be happy having two atheists and one non-religious, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, what's his name going to be? Um, I don't know. I'm so bad with names. Uh, um. Alright, it's going to be Tobias. I don't know. I, I have no idea. <laughs> there we go. So, we have four rangers here. We have to play. You can change this at any time in the options menu. Select difficulty. Rookie, the wasteland is a dangerous place for the uninitiated. Choose this setting if you consider yourself a novice, a tenderfoot, or if this is in fact your first barbecue. If you've had some experience in the wastes or places like it, and you know which end of the mason cannon to point at the enemy, this is the setting for you. We'll go season probably. If you've been around the block a few times and you think whipping your weight in Gilla monitors counts as light exercise. This is probably the setting you want. Supreme jerk. If you've already a hero of the wastelands and have been known to take raiders pee themselves just by looking at them, this is your setting. But don't say we didn't warn you. Yeah, we're gonna be seasoned. Play. Man, I'm so excited about this. Really, really excited. This is another sort of proper Fallout-esque um, game. And in fact... A part of the team that also worked on Fallout works on this. Well, a part of the team, I, I think one guy I know for certain. The founder. So this is gonna be pretty awesome, I think. But we're gonna find out. Love the music already. Brian Fargo presents... An Inzile Entertainment Production. The credits! We love credits. Yep, we certainly love credits. Mm mm, credits. Feels like it's the end of the game. Well, that was nice, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching. This was Wasteland Stew. The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good men do nothing. General Vargas. What comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion, constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it? Or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. Now, everything was gone. Yeah. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. Ugh. They've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name, a proud name, the Desert Rangers. Oh man, sliding guitar. Awesome. Now Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. 
and I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. Nor will he have ever died in vain or unavenged. Born a man, died a desert ranger. Hmm. Thank you, recruits. A stiff, bearded older man wearing a hard worn ranger uniform and a battered old cowboy hat. General Vargas walks with a cane, but he's not helpless. He wears a pearl handled, uh, handled revolver on his hip, and there are lots of notches on the barrel. I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement party when you hardly knew the man. Appropriate, too, seeing as how investigating his death will be your first duty as a desert ranger. Okay. How did Ace die, sir? Happy to be given the opportunity, sir, but are you sure we're ready? How did Ace die? Ace had been trying to locate a faint radio signal, which has lately been given us cause for concern. We gave him three repeater units and sent him to hook him up to three remote radio towers. This would have allowed us to get a fix on the signal. But sadly, Ace was murdered by unknown assailants right after hooking up the first tower, and his logbook and the last two repeater units were stolen. You think the logbook was stolen, sir? Don't know, but it wasn't on Ace's person when he was found. Look for it. It might have some clues as to his death. Where are the radio towers? I'll give you the locations of the towers once you have the repeaters in hand. More important to find them first. Repeater units, sir? When you get back to the Citadel, talk to our radio expert, Wade Woodson, if you want to know more about the technical details. All I know is the repeaters will upgrade the towers and allow us to zero in on the mystery signal. The signal is a threat, sir? The voice on those broadcasts disturbed me greatly. It talked crazy talk about a future where man and machine would be one. Worse, it talked Ooh. about us, the Desert Rangers specifically. It said it was coming for us. Well, hey, that's not a bad future. Man and machine would be one. <laughs> Happy to be given the opportunity, sir, but are you sure we're ready? Yeah, I know. You've hardly found your feet with us, and here I am sending you on a mission that already got one ranger killed. Well, I wish I had another option, but the desert rangers are spread a little thin right now. Ranger teams Abel and Charlie are out west trying to stop a range war out there from becoming straight-up genocide. And Team Baker is up north looking for a way through the radiation that's cut us off from Vegas. I'm afraid the next generation is going to have to lead the charge on this one. What's the mission, sir? The mission is this. Search the area where Ace's body was found and do your best to recover his logbook and the repeater units. Then call in your report. If you find the repeaters, I may send you on to finish his mission. Ace's death must be avenged, and it will be. But finding the signal he died trying to track down is just as important. Besides, I got the sneaking suspicion that when you find the one, you'll find the other. Call in, sir? Yes, call in on your radio. Your radio is your lifeline to Ranger Citadel. We'll be calling you with alerts and updates on your current missions, and sending you new missions when we receive distress calls. As Rangers, it is your sworn duty to respond to those calls. That is the contract we made with the people of Arizona when we opened for business. When can we enter the Citadel, sir? Once you prove yourself, the Citadel will be your new home. Mm. Consider this mission the final test of your training. If you succeed, you are welcome within our walls. If you fail, then you aren't cut out to be a desert ranger, and we won't let you in. Smartass. Ah, you can uh, do this stuff. Surely, sir, the success of the mission is more important than testing us. If you want to find these signals, shouldn't you let us in so we can stock up on every... something? Everything, I guess? Kessass. Please, sir, if you're sending us after Ace's killer, then you've already decided we're worthy. Why not just let us in? Hard ass. What if we prove ourselves by kicking down the citadel doors, sir? Uh, let's do the kiss ass. We've got two in kiss ass. 
Kissing ass already, huh? <laughs> well, some folks in the waste can be persuaded that way, but not everyone. I've been buttered up by the best of them, so I'm wise to those tricks. You get through our doors with deeds, not words, recruits. Good try, though. Where is this area, sir? It's about a day's walk east from here. I'll mark it on your map. Cool. Is this the entire map? Hopefully not, because that, that would be a bit small, but still. That is the radio tower. There you go. Oh, thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, sir. We'll do our best. Good luck out there, recruits. Oh, crap. You know what? I just remembered something. Did I give anyone except these two any weapon skills? Because... Oh, shite. Let's see. Uh, no, she has a stick. And she doesn't have any weapon skills at all. The sniper has it, of course. And he doesn't. Darren doesn't have any skills. Uh, maybe... Hmm. I'm not sure this is gonna go so well. Maybe I should give him some skills when I've created them. But we'll see. We'll uh, persevere anyway. So we've got uh, some stuff over here. Logbook. The logbook contains information on the various missions and tasks the rangers have acquired. The buttons at the top allow you to view missions you have flagged as important are ongoing or have resolved. Additionally, you can sort the list by selecting sort by property from the drop-down menu. Where is this logbook? Oh, it's there. Is it this? Oh, that's cool. The map and everything updated. Look for the rest of Ace's logbook. Oh, that's cool. I like the UI very much. <clears throat> Keywords. In addition to selecting a keyword, you can also manually enter them in the dialogue window. Pay close attention during conversations for hints to these hidden keywords. You can switch the active ranger in a conversation b oh, by selecting the appropriate portraits. Each of your rangers has their own strengths and weaknesses. That's cool. Make sure uh, to use the right one for the job. That is very cool. All right. So, this has been just an intro to Wasteland 2. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. We've spent most of our time creating characters and such. But now we're actually going to start playing the game. Thank you for watching. Uh, and uh, I will see you in the next part. I hope you will join me there, because this is going to be, I feel, as awesome as Fallout 2. Bye-bye.